Hi, I'm Tracy Rout and I'm a Senior Research Fellow in the Threatened Species Recovery Hub. In this video, I'll be giving you a quick introduction to the PACES Decision Tool, which is a tool that's been developed by myself and Terry Walsh. So what is PACES? Well, PACES stands for Planning and Assessment for Conservation through Ex Situ Management. When I'm talking about ex situ, I mean any management that occurs off site, away from a species natural habitat. So this might include captive breeding of animal species or seed storage and propagation of plants. So there are lots of different reasons why we might want to do ex situ management, but PACES only considers the ex situ management as a way to increase the long-term persistence of a species in the wild or in situ. So it can be used by any organization that has this as its main objective. PACES is an Excel workbook, which means that it's easy to use and easy to share. And it can be used by a single decision maker working through and answering questions, or it can be used in a group workshop setting so with a facilitator and a number of different species experts. PACES helps you to make predictions and then compare the outcomes under different possible management plans for a species. And this includes both in situ and ex situ management plans. So for example, this graph shows a possible output from the tool. It's an example of predictions about what will happen to this species under these four different scenarios, which include a do nothing baseline scenario and these three different management plans. The in situ status quo management plan is a description of what's currently happening in situ for the species management. In situ plus is a management plan where we devote more resources to in situ management. And ex situ is a potential ex situ management plan. And so we end up with predictions about what will happen to our species in the wild under each of these plans. And in a certain number of years time, and you get to nominate whatever time horizon is suitable for your species. In this graph I'm showing you, the outcomes the predictions are made in terms of relative population size. So the percentage change in population size in the wild over that time horizon. But you can also choose to make these predictions in terms of probability of persistence in the wild. So how do we get to making these predictions? Well, PACES can accommodate a range of different information types. So if you have the outputs of models such as population viability analyses, you can enter those into the tool. If you have the outputs of previous studies, for example, studies assessing the breeding success of your species under ex situ conditions, you can enter that information into the tool. However, we recognize that in many situations, information like that is not available. And so we've developed PACES to facilitate easy and best practice expert elicitation. So if you run through the tool with a facilitator and your species experts, you can make, get your experts to make those predictions in the best way possible. PACES also has the facility to allow you to look at what your workshop participants think about the conservation outcomes of each of those management plans and to canvas their opinions about whether they think those management plans are good value for money. So this could be really useful in a contentious situation where you want to involve lots of different stakeholders or people from different organizations. And then you're interested in knowing what each of them think about the value for money or the willingness to pay for those conservation outcomes. So you get an output like this that shows you for each management plan or the do nothing scenario, how many of your participants support or are opposed to that plan. 
this is also helps planning and foresight of ex situ management, and particularly for species where ex situ management hasn't been implemented before. So you can imagine that in order to make predictions about what we think will happen to these species populations in the future under these management plans, we need to describe what the management plans involve. And in order to do that for a species that has never been managed ex situ, it can involve quite a bit of thinking and planning about what an ex situ management plan would look like for the species. So to do this, we've incorporated the IACN guidelines on ex situ management, which include a comprehensive set of questions about all the different considerations that you might have when undertaking ex situ management. And these are included in the tool as a set of questions to answer. And so it can get all that information right in the same spot where your decision analysis is occurring. So PACES can help you answer questions like, should we start ex situ management for the species? Should we be continuing our existing ex situ program? And this question might come up because your existing program has been really successful and may no longer be needed, or because maybe it hasn't been very successful. What are the trade-offs between investing in ex situ management versus in situ management for this species? Which type of management is going to get you the biggest bang for your buck? And what are the expected benefits of all forms of management? So this is comparing the predicted outcomes under all your management compared to that do nothing scenario. And that can enable you to justify investment in management at all for this species. And if you apply the tool consistently to a number of species, you can then assess for which species ex situ management would have the biggest benefit. So this tool has been developed and tested in consultation with a number of people. So thanks to all those people. Thank you for watching. And I really hope that the PACES decision tool will be useful to you to help put your management decision through its paces. Thank you.